All right, hello, hello, everyone that's watching this. And we are here today to talk about the deal of the day section that we're just launching for Done For You Properties, AKA Done For You Real Estate USA, and how you go through the process of posting these and making sure all the details are correct and all of that good stuff. So I just wanna show you what it looks like on the outside. Um, right now we're currently calling our blog the deal of the day section. So it is known as deal of the day. You can see all the segments there. We may add additional categories eventually and call it something different. But for right now, this is what we're doing. And on here, you'll notice we have this picture of a deal with some of the basic details and a couple of things I want to point out. So as far as the sidebar advertisement and this advertisement that shows up in content, these are things that we have triggered to, to show automatically. So at this point, you don't have to do anything to adjust those. Those will appear automatically. You don't need to do anything on the opt-ins. All those will appear on every one of the posts that you create. So your job is gonna to be to create posts, and I'm gonna show you how to do that in a second, and just make sure that the formatting stays consistent and correct because when we launch this fully and you're in here doing deals every day, you'll be able to, this will be updating certain areas of the website with this information. So let's talk about it, because as you see right here, we posted a deal that's in here right now, and it contains a lot of the same information we're pulling off the pro forma and putting into the deal tracker at this point. So here is what it looks like when you log into the website. And I'm gonna send this link over, it's the admin link that you log into, and you're gonna see the back end of the website and all the stuff that we have here. Um, on your end, you probably won't have as much um, stuff on the side here, but really posts is the place that you're going to play for the most. So if you go to all posts, you're gonna see the previous deals that we have up here, which we just have one right now, which is just a sample deal that we pulled from the website at this point. Um, and if you click edit, you're gonna see some, some details that will show here. And then I'm gonna cover it in creating a new post because I'm gonna grab some of the info that's in here. So basically what you're gonna wanna do each day at this point is you're gonna create um, a new post that would be called deal of the day and then the day, obviously that you would have on here, February 20th is what we put. And that's pretty much all the information that you would need. Now, you'll notice in here, we just have a couple of, of basic details. So what we did, and we wanna keep this format consistent every time, is we put in the address, we put in the bedrooms and the baths, we put in the purchase price, the average return, the year built, the square footage, and then this more details is a link that links to the PDF. And then the, um, pardon me, and then the see more properties is gonna take you through to the deal tracker, which you have every time. The other thing we need to make sure is complete every time is this excerpt right here. So all I'm putting in the excerpt section is those top four things. So the, the address, the bedrooms and baths, the purchase price, and the average annual return, which again, I'll show you how to create this in a second, but you'll notice that's all that's here. Then there's an additional place in here that you're gonna to need to create um, that you update so that it shows correctly to the web. So on here, you will have this snippet, and I'll, again, I'll show you how to edit it, that needs to be updated as well. So this is how it determines how it shows up on social media and how it shows up on Google. So when you share this link, you wanna make sure that it's formatted properly to show up. So to edit this, you'll click edit snippet, and you'll notice that we want this bar here to be green and this bar here to be green. And then we'll wanna select focus keywords, which the new focus keywords I'm gonna create in here are gonna be based around the addresses that we have here. So if anybody searches for the address, this is gonna be the thing that comes up. And so again, I'm gonna show you from this information basically how we create a new post. The other thing that's important over here that we, that we have available is this featured image, which is gonna be a big deal um, that we have because this determines how this image shows up on the website right here. And it's also gonna determine how it shows up on the home page and all that other good stuff. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna create a new post and I'm gonna keep this one open because I'm just gonna grab the same information. So again, what we have to make sure of is that the title is consistent. So deal of the day, February 21st. I'm gonna grab all of this information from in here and copy and paste. Now you'll notice that the editor in WordPress looks very similar to what you would see in like a Word document. So if we needed to add a link, we can do this and then click the link right here and make sure that it's linking to the pro forma, all that good stuff. Um, 
if we need to add any more information, we can do that here. So if we need to add media here, like we, we wanna put a PDF in, or we don't have something that's in the website, we can select this text, we can click add media, and then you can upload files right here. So you can upload PDFs, you can upload different things that we have available in here to get a link if you don't have one available. And again, I can walk through that process with you individually if you need to see that. So then we've got our post, then we have to make sure that our excerpt is updated. So again, I'm just gonna grab those first four lines and I'm gonna post that here. So that's the excerpt. And the excerpt is what's gonna show up on the main page when we create those. So we wanna make sure that those excerpts are set. Then we have to make sure that our SEO and our social looks good. So I'm gonna edit this snippet and this title is fine, but I'm gonna type it in anyway. Deal of the day, February 21st done for you real estate USA to get that in the green and then I'm going to post that same excerpt now for Google we're going to have to format this differently because you can't have the spacing like that so I'm just using dashes to divide it up that we have right here and then I'm also going to put at the end learn more about this deal because this is what we wanted to show up then we have one more title that we need to update. So this little share button that's right here, we need to click this and we need to make sure that the Facebook title and the Twitter title, if you were to share them there, are the same as the snippet. And then we're just gonna copy and paste the same thing here in the Facebook description and the Twitter description. Then what we're gonna need to do um, is just make sure that the focus keyword is set, which I said the focus keyword we're just going to use is the address on the on the deal. And um, then let's talk images. So again, we want to set a featured image for this. So I'm going to grab um, I'm going to grab just a random image that we already have in here. So I'm just going to grab this one. I don't even think this is the right property, or maybe it is. So we'll set that as the featured image. So that's in here. And then I also want to make sure that in my social, like on Facebook. I go to where this says upload image and it's gonna pull up that same thing. So I wanna make sure for Facebook, the image is the same and I wanna make sure for Twitter, the image is the same. So I'm just using those images. Everything looks good right now. And then I wanna make sure that there's a check in this box for deal of the day. And then at this point, we are basically ready. So I'm gonna publish this guy. So as this is published and it's going slow cause I'm recording this right now. We'll be able to go in here into the deal and we'll be able to see that this deal looks the same. And again, notice that these opt-in boxes and stuff appear automatically that we have right here. And so that's exactly what we want. And then if we were to look at just the deal of the day section, you'll notice that there are now two deals of the day in here. And they are the same deal because I just created that same one. But I wanna make sure that we're thorough every time. So you have to make sure that this is the same, that we go in this order of address, one line, bedrooms and baths, purchase price, average return, year built, square footage. More details is a link to the pro forma, and then a link to the deal tracker, see more properties, is here as well. And these will be the same each time. So you can copy and paste them and tweak whatever it is that you need to tweak in here. You need to make sure that the snippet, or that the excerpt is set to be those first four items. You need to make sure that the snippet for social and for Google is set correctly with what we have here in the focus keyword again is right here. I'm just using the address right now. And then the featured image is set and your social images are set. You wanna make sure that those are set correctly. And then again, when you share this post to Facebook or Twitter or anywhere that we share it, we make sure that the social meta is set up correctly. So this is how you're gonna do deal of the day. I know you'll um, a lot of you have not done this before, so you're gonna probably have questions as you start doing this. If you wanna publish them and then send them to our team to make sure the formatting is correct or there's anything else we need to do, we can do that um, and we will start getting that done. So excited to launch this system to you guys. When you're ready to start doing deals and working on deals, you'll be able to do that here. Thanks guys, see you soon for the next training.